Good afternoon. In this week's parasha, parasha Truma, we begin a series of parashas dealing with the construction of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the home for Hashem, so to speak, in the desert. And a great deal of, uh, of the Torah is dedicated also to describing the kalim, the utensils or vessels within the Mishkan, such as the menorah, candelabra, the Iron Kodesh, the Holy Ark, in which the tablets of the Ten Commandments were placed, as well as the Torah written by Moshe. And you have, uh, within all of these things, a great deal of wisdom and meaning and significance. So I'd like to share a couple of ideas with you. The menorah was made fairly simply, although it wasn't simple to do, it's simple to describe, out of one block of solid gold, from the base up to the central shaft, to the branches, the six branches that came off, three on each side, was one solid block of gold. The Aaron Kodesh, however, was in fact three different items. It was the box itself, which itself was composed of three things, wood in the middle, gold in the inside, and gold on the outside. Then it had a lid made out of solid gold. It was a second item. And then thirdly, it had staves made out of wood and covered with gold, poles that were put in it for when it would need to be carried. Now, you would imagine that these poles were used when the Aaron Kodesh was actually carried. And when it was set, when it was uh, put down, the poles were removed. After all, they were simply the method of transportation, and the Aaron Kodesh was left in the Mishkan simply by itself without those poles. You might think that, but if you did, you would not be correct. Because, in fact, one of the mitzvot, one of the 613 mitzvot, is that those poles are never to be removed. The poles are in place within the uh, within the rings on the sides of the Iron Kodesh and they are to be left there in perpetuity. So what is this supposed to teach us? It's a uh, fairly well-known idea which I hope to give some depth to is that the Iron Kodesh, the Ark itself, which holds the Torah, which holds the Ten Commandments and the Torah scroll, that represents those who study Torah, those who contain the Torah within them. The, Aaron, the, the poles which carry the Aaron Kodesh, those represent those who support Torah. Whether it is supporting Torah financially, by making donations to yeshivas, paying the way for students and uh, people, even children and uh, young people studying in school, uh, learning, uh, learning Torah in school, whatever the form of that financial support, or whether it is the emotional, practical, physical support given by a, uh, a family to a person who's studying, whether it's the time that a, uh, a person sets aside you know, during the day for one or two hours, if he's going to, uh, to a shir, or even if it's a more intense kind of learning, you have the support team behind those who study Torah, and then you have the actual Torah study itself. And the idea is that you may think that the support team is simply there to carry the winner across the finish line, so to speak. Is that, you know, the support crew, but the one who really gets the acclaim you know, you've got the Formula One driver and the pit crew, right? So the one who really gets all the, uh, all the, all the uh, air time and the face time is the, uh, is the driver. The support crew is in the background. They're just the support crew. That's what you might think, but that again would not be correct. That's the lesson that's being taught to us over here is that the poles are an integral part of the Iron Kodesh. They're something that fits in and is never removed, that stays there forever. They are part and parcel of it. And in fact, the Chofetz Chaim, in his book Shem Olam, in chapter 17, after explaining this, he says it's the same thing with the menorah. The menorah is, in fact, also a symbol of Torah. It gives light to the world in the same way that the Torah gives us light, Torah or. And uh, the, the, uh, the menorah, which gives us light, is all made of this one block, and gold, block of gold. Not simply the branches or the or the actual receptacles from which the, the light shines forth where the oil is lit, but even the base itself, the base which supports everything. It's all the same block of wood. It's one unit. It's not two separate things. You know, people sometimes talk about it in Torah. So you have the learners and you have the earners. You know, and they and they uh, those are the two different groups. It's one group with, uh, with specialization, so to speak. It's a package that involves everybody. And in fact, the Chobetz Chaim continues to say that you have within the menorah, um, along these, uh, along the central and the branches, you have cups, knobs, and flowers, various decorations 
that are given. And he says, and this shows you, again, that all the different aspects of Torah, the written Torah, the oral Torah, the explanation, all of that, again, is integral to the Torah. It's not two separate kinds of Torah. You have people who speak about in, uh, in academia, they'll speak about rabbinic Judaism or, or something like that, as if they, you know, they, they're separate forms or they're separate things. Biblical Judaism, rabbinic Judaism. There's not biblical Judaism and rabbinic Judaism. There's just Judaism. Right, it's one package, it's just the menorah. You know, you can talk about the cups on the menorah, the knobs on the menorah, this branch of the menorah, that branch of the menorah, it's one menorah. That's, that's what you have. And that's from the base, which is those who are supporting it, all the way to the uh, light, which is given from it. Now, the Chovetz Chaim says, when we uh, talk about studying and supporting Torah, we have the famous Pasuk, which we say, Eitz Chaim hi lemachazikim ba. It is a tree of life. To those la machazikim ba, to those who support it, those who support it. If you support Torah, then it becomes a tree of life to you. But the truth is, the Chavad Chaim says, if you look at the word more carefully, machazik, which comes from the word chazak, strong, to those who make strong machazik, we would think to support make strong, we would think grammatically that it should be etzchaimhi la machazikim ota. It is a tree of life to those who support it. Ba, the Hebrew word means within it. It is a tree of life to those who hold, strengthen within it, who hold in it. What does that mean? We have a story in the book of Yeshua, the book of Joshua, and the Jewish people cross the Jordan River entering into Israel. The river Jordan split, similar to what happens with the Red Sea. The difference was the Red Sea split with two sides. The Jordan River simply splits one side, water drains away the other side. And now water keeps piling up on the one side and the Jewish people all cross over the river. Now, while they cross over the river, you have the Aaron Kodesh held by the Kwanim in the middle of the riverbed. And they stand there the entire time while everyone passes through. Then you may think that after that, they would get out and uh, continue into Israel. But again, I'm sorry, you're not having much luck to go. Again, that's not what happened. They got out and went to the other side. They went back to Jordan, back to the east bank of the Jordan River. And then the Jordan River continued to flow. But then what happened was, the Aaron Kodesh lifted up and carried the Kohanim across. And from there the sages always said, it looks like the people carrying, holding the staffs are the ones carrying the Torah, but really it is the Torah is carrying them. Really the Torah carries everybody. Whether you are the studying Torah, whether you are supporting Torah study, you're not in fact supporting the Torah, the Torah is supporting you. But you are the one who is taking on the responsibility by stepping forward and lifting up the Torah. Then it is an Eitz Chaim. Then it's a tree of life. But it's not a tree of life to those who support it, because you never really support it. You support within it. You hold to it, but it's really holding to you. But those are the principles that we see from this menorah, from the Aaron Kodesh, the fact that the supporters of Torah, that these uh, the, the facilitators, that everyone who's a part of making it happen has the same share, it's the same package as those who are actually fulfilling this crucial mitzvah of studying Torah. And you also have that can never be separated from it. You also have the idea that all of Torah is one, the knobs, the cups, the flowers, the written Torah, the oral Torah, various explanations, it's all part of this same package, it's all part of this Torah and uh, that it's not machazikim we never really support the Torah, it's really that we are supported by the Torah when we invest within it. Shabbat Shalom, have a wonderful Shabbat.